My dog has recently been euthanized. Um, I paid for it. I brought him home. I have all his health record books. Uh, whenever, he, whenever he's been taken to the vet, I've always paid and I've always attended. My ex put him under his name and at a different address. He's just, now just, just explain away. to me, Louise, what you mean by put the dog under his under your ex's name. So when do you, do you mean registered bought, him with the vet's practice under his name? Yes, sorry, yes. Okay, yeah, absolutely, yes, absolutely, but not under my address, under a, a different address, okay. which I was not aware of. So for thirteen years, I've been taking my dog to this this vet practitioner. Um, paying for all the vet bills, paying for everything. When it came to euthanisation, um, they didn't have my name or my address under his records. Uh, I had no control over him. To cut a long story short, he had to be present at the euthanisation if the vet agreed that it was time for him to go. It was time for him to go. Um, it was agreed that um, I signed the paperwork for the euthanisation. I paid for the euthanisation. They had my contact details. In the meantime, my ex um, contacted the vets to say that I could not pick up the ashes. Is there anything I can do? And the vets have not called me. They've called him. OK, I I'm so sorry. When did this happen, Louise? About two weeks ago. And do you... Uh, what? what, what, what? Was your dog's breed? Um, Staffordshire Bull Terrier. What was his name? Bruce. Well, um, do, do you know if Bruce's ashes are still with the vet or whether your ex has them? Um, at the moment, as far as I'm aware, they're still at the vet and they're to be picked up at mon on Monday. So there's not much time? No. Right, so uh, if you were the owner of the of the dog of Bruce you are entitled to his ashes but not on paperwork because he did that on paperwork well, so as far as my no Sorry. It's, that, that's a slightly different point uh the 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 contact at the vet might be um your ex by the way how long have you been split up um about five years so, and and did you have joint were you sharing uh, the dog for those five years no he was always with me Right. So, so why did Bruce? Sorry, why did your ex take Bruce to the vet to be put down? He didn't. I did. So you, why did your ex sign the paperwork for putting Bruce down? Um, because he he contacted the vet to say that he was the owner because it was in his he was in his name under a different address, and when it came to a decision like this, the vet wouldn't deal with me because right. I was so, so only you, the keeper. So, Lee, so, so uh, sorry, are you the owner or the keeper? I'm getting confused now. I'm both. No, You're both. I'm both. You're both, it's but the vet thought you were the keeper, not the owner. Okay. Yes. Uh, did you ever sign anything yourself that said that your ex was the owner? No. So it's, it's simply a case of the vet having the wrong details? If that's what you say it is, it, then yeah. Well, that, that, that's what you're saying it is, isn't it? No, that's what I'm trying to get out of you. What legal rights have I got? Because I really don't know. Well, if if you're if you were Bruce's owner, you have the right to Bruce's ashes. The difficulty you're going to have is getting the vet to get them to you or give them to you on Monday morning. Uh, there are not a huge number of options to get this done by Monday morning. In theory, you could go to court and get an injunction prohibiting the vet from handing over Bruce's ashes. But that's going to be very expensive and it's going to be very difficult to do by Monday morning. Have you spoken to your ex about this? Yes. And what does he say? Um, this all sounds very pathetic. Um, it's because I wanted to scatter him elsewhere and he didn't agree with it. it so it's, it's, he... not, it's not pathetic at all, Louise. I, I understand how upsetting and emotional it is. Um, what, forgive me, what do you want to do with Bruce's ashes? You want to scatter them. What does your ex want to do? Um, he wants to scatter them just in a different place. OK. I'm, I, I hate to say this. I'm not, I think the law might be a bit of a rough tool to deal with this here. Um, you, you could, in theory, rush off to court at 9am Monday and get an injunction preventing the vet from releasing Bruce's ashes to your ex. 
but it's going to be expensive and it's i'm not even sure you're going to be able to get it done without hiring a very very heavy gun firm of solicitors to get it done that quickly um what you could do is is literally go to the vet's office at nine o'clock on monday with proof of ownership and bluntly kick up a fuss and say if you release these ashes to my ex here's the paperwork to prove i'm the owner i'm going to sue you and in theory you could sue the vet for for giving the ashes to the wrong person but it's not going to be worth very much money i'm afraid we're talking you know it, it, it's going to be for some emotional distress and we're talking hundreds of pounds rather than anything it's not about that. the money i it's, know it's not you um, want to stop it happening but what i'm what i'm saying is there's there's limited legal options you have here the best practical thing to do is get to the vet be at the vet nine o'clock monday morning with documents proving you're the owner which documents do I need, please? Well, what documents do you have to prove you're the owner? You said you're the owner. All I've got is the yeah. health record book. Well, okay, and, the health um, record book. You, you should have... Uh, all on their system. There would have been a purchase is... contract when you bought Bruce 12 years ago. Do you still no, have that? No, because he was going to be put down because he was the run to the litter. So I, always, I if I didn't take him, he was going to be put down. So there was, no, there was no him. purchase. What, what about registration with the Kennel Club? Oh, he's never been to a kennel. No, the Kennel Club, where you where you register um, Staffordshire's, Staffordshire built areas. Oh, no, we never did that. OK, that's going to make it a bit trickier, I'm afraid, um, Louise. I'm, I'm not sure I have a, a, a wonderful answer for you here that's going to help you. I think all you can do is go to the vet, say it's my dog. And if if the vet, the vet might say, well, then I'm hanging on to the ashes until the two of you can sort it out between you. Uh, and you might need to go to court and get a judge to decide who owns or who owned Bruce. I think that's the only option available to you, Louise, I'm afraid.